Welcome friends. So here we demonstrate one simple problem on the projections of solids. So particularly in this case we have uh, the axis of the solid inclined to VP. So we note that we have a square pyramid. So base edge 100 mm, height 150. So this information is uh, sufficient for uh, uh, fixing the uh, geometry of the uh, square pyramid. It is resting on uh, one of its base corners on the ground so with the axis as mentioned earlier inclined at 60 degree to VP and it is parallel to HP. So we earlier mentioned that whenever we have uh, the axis uh, inclined to certain plane either HP or VP or ground so we initially take that perpendicular to that uh, uh, direction so here if uh, so here we will take axis initial in the initial position perpendicular to VP. So if the axis is uh, perpendicular to VP, that means its front view will have the uh, true shape of the base. So now note about the uh, initial position. So here it has to finally rest on a base corner on the ground. So if uh, it has to rest on the base corner on the ground, we will uh, take uh, a symmetric position. So let us first locate the uh, base as will be visible. So base will be visible as a true shape in the uh, front view. So let us draw it in the front view which is below XY line and lying on ground. So let us locate the uh, front view. So, so we will have a polygon with four sides. So and uh, edge method and uh, what should be the edge size it is 100 mm so four grid spaces we take and then we rotate it so that it is at present uh, whole of the base edges in ground so it has to be only one corner has to be on the ground so that is why we rotate it so we rotate it by 45 degrees so that this uh, rotate this figure by 45 degree so that is how we get the initial position let us move these points a bit. Now here we have to uh, feed the we have to draw the uh, solid. So this is the just this is just the base. So the slant edges of the solid so they also will be visible because the apex so you note the last sentence apex is apex is towards the observer. So apex will be visible from this position to this position. So this apex is visible. The apex is visible and in the top view also you note the apex will be towards the observer. That, that means uh, apex will be towards us or towards the front view. So first we target the base. So base will be visible like this and for the apex. So we know its height is 150 that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 grid spaces we have to take. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from this point the uh, ortho of and we have to reach this point similar way again we have to connect it on the other side also so slant edges we complete so we have uh, one more slant edge that is just in the middle so this is how you will have uh, the solid looking like so we can trim the 
extra portion of the line and this is exactly what you will see in the initial position so in the final position so we have to make the axis 60 degree in the current position axis is at 90 degree to vp uh, that is visible in the top view so any inclination with vp will be visible in the top view so here this is inclined at uh, 90 degree so we have to uh, incline it at 60 degree so what we do initially we copy it and then we rotate it by 30 degree so let us say this is the base point of rotation we rotate it by 30 degree and uh, this way the axis now is the inclination of the axis has been reduced to 60 degree so this we have to carefully see now uh, we may need uh, labeling because uh, we have to transfer the points so uh, in in fact this we should have uh, completed in the beginning itself specify the height rotation context let us say let us say this i say as a dash this is uh, b dash this is c dash this is d dash and this is the apex which is o dash apex in the top view is simply o and this point is corresponding to c this point is uh, b as well as uh, uh, d and uh, this point is a similar way so we have a uh, B and D and we have C here and we have O points so now so point to point we have to draw the uh, verticals and the horizontals so for uh, point O we will draw the uh, horizontal and the vertical from O and O dash like this for horizontal we can we can use F8 command this is the the intersection gives the new o dash so intersection is the new o dash and next is uh, uh, the point c let us say so for point c so the location will be here so this intersection for point uh, b and d so b and d both this is one vertical line but for them the horizontal lines are uh, more than one so these locations are new new positions of b dash and d dash so new locations b dash and d dash are here and this point was uh, c dash this point was uh, c dash and uh, uh, what about A? So the point A will come down like this. So this is A dash copy uh, A dash from the previous location itself. Now we can connect the visible lines. So we know that so the outer boundary definitely will be visible. So outer points O dash is definitely connected with the D D dash is definitely connected with uh, A dash A dash is connected with B dash so from the geometry at least this one so it is con uh, B dash is or all base points are connected with the uh, O dash and uh, all base points are connected with adjacent B, uh, base points now here Okay, now the uh, rest of the base edges are uh, D dash C dash and B dash C dash so they have not yet been connected so we have to connect them also so we see that they are 
hidden so they actually uh, are below the other features of the job so below the solid so they need to be converted to the uh, standard uh, way that is cyan color so d dash c dash and b dash c dash so you can uh, easily see even from the direction of viewing so o a so and o b o d so they should take the precedence they are visible so whereas uh, 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 c b and c d so they both so even from the top view you can see so c b and c d so they are not uh, directly visible they are uh, in the hidden portion so they are behind the rest of the solid so that is how we uh, complete the drawing so we should remove the uh, construction lines so, so we can select the construction lines and delete so one thing uh, we have uh, missed so that is edge o dash and a dash we or a dash o dash so this edge has to be there so this is how the solid will look like so there is one more uh, hidden line from o dash c dash o dash to c dash o that uh, line beca because it is overlapped by a sort visible solid line o dash a dash so we don't need to show that so this way we complete the drawing thank you